my daughter, Stacy, my son, Eric, and my wife, Deb. Sergeant First Class Rick Fuller has waited since last spring to see his grandkids again. And Tuesday afternoon, in the teacher's lounge at Thomas Jefferson School in Milan, the wait continued a few minutes more. This is going to be a total surprise. They don't even know I'm here. When protests broke out in Egypt, the military canceled the Fuller family's trip to visit him, so he came home instead. <laughs> Safely stowed out of view, his grandchildren's classes filed into the cafeteria for what they thought was an assembly with the Red Cross. Boys and girls, we have a very special presentation today from... But then, Grandpa walked in. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi. A soldier's homecoming, complete with tears from his daughter and family, applause from his grandchildren's classmates. Mission accomplished. Uh, I love you guys. It's been a long time since we've seen you. Yeah. Who did you see walk into the room? Grandpa. Yeah. And what did you do? Go right up to him and hug him. I was so surprised. I didn't even know he was coming. Did you like it? <laughs> Were you surprised? What do you want to do with your grandpa while he's home? I want to spend a lot of time with him. I never knew he was coming. I want to hear about what he did in Egypt and spend some time with him. I got to leave on the 6th again of next month. Cameron, what do you want to do with grandpa while he's home? Sit with him. Sit with him? Yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, some stories? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Do you want to hear about Egypt? Mm-hmm. I'm here with Courtney Fuquay. She is the wife of Army Staff Sergeant David Fuquay, who is currently serving in his fourth tour of duty in Operation United Assistance. I'm also here with his two daughters, Kylie and Alina, and his two nephews, Jacob and Jeremy. They're here for a very special birthday celebration. Well, your dad and uncle wanted to send you guys a very special birthday message. Let's take a look. Hey kids, I wanna wish you an early happy birthday from Monrovia. I wish I could be there with you to celebrate, but I can't. My special friend, Rocky, has brought you guys some birthday presents. Well, you guys heard him. Let's head to center court. We got some birthday gifts that Rocky wants to pass out. Are you ready? All right, Rocky, let's take them over. Team signed basketball, that is awesome. What about you, Miss Kylie? Oh, it's Olaf on one. What's that, Rocky? One? Of course you have one more gift. What do you got, Rocky? I'm Stan Young, and this is my Veterans United story. He's very motivated, and when he has a dream, he's determined to make it happen. And that's since we dated, and we, we started dating in our sophomore year in college. It was a sense of pride in me, you know, that I was able to do this for, but at the same time, you know, just a lot of anticipation and anxiety because uh, I can't wait to see her reaction is. In November, as soon as I walked in the door, I loved the house right away. He was kind of like down and out because he was like, you know, I think that house is going to come through. And he didn't really give me, a, you know, reasons why. I just was like, okay, it's okay, you know, I'm sure we'll find something else. But inside, I was like, oh, the house is so beautiful. And so I just felt like we were just still house searching. The day came. <laughs> he just tell me a story like Jill just called me and she said that, um, you know, that house we went to see, it didn't go through with the um, buyers and um, she told us to come look at it. As I walked my wife up to the house, I was still kind of nervous because uh, it was still big for me and it hasn't sank in and, and, and might not, you know, sink in for years and years to come now. I came in and he told me to look at this um, certificate that was on the counter. It was just like, you know, this is your house and it had the address and everything. <laughs> <laughs> As 
understand. No. This. <laughs> oh my god. I am surprised. Well, I shouldn't have been because when this man gets his mind set on something, it's done. No clue whatsoever. I just thought, well, we love the house and I'm sure we will find another one, but this was the house that when we first came in, I just just fell in love with it. And it just I'm so happy right now. Veterans United laid out the steps uh, for home ownership. Just, I mean, it was just seamless. Uh, you know, through each process, you know, there was someone that actually, you know, facilitated my way along the process and just made everything so easy. Wow. I'm definitely indebted to uh, Veterans United Home Loans. I mean, I'm surprised, but I, I mean, I shouldn't be because he's always surprising me with things. But this one was a really big one. He pulled it off. I would never forget it. This is being a surprise in my life. That's really the reason we're here. Dad just got back from Afghanistan. Okay? Thank you. Thanks for the decoy. <laughs> here. Thank you, Roger. Pretty good surprise. Cool. <laughs> We're going to take her out of here and let y'all yeah. know about y'all's business. Oh, I was so excited yesterday when uh, Margaret Kleifus, which is Bailey's homeroom teacher, called me about it. And she, as if she was asking permission, and I said, absolutely, absolutely. And like I say, just, you know, I'm, I'm getting emotional as I, you know, as I think about it. And, you know, just coming home, the, the appreciation as a community, what we have for our, our armed forces and stuff, and for us to be able to facilitate this is just such a small token of what we can do. I mean, we're, we're sure proud of the entire family. We're just, we thank God he's home. It's our, our her third go around with the deployment, so it gets harder on her each time, but each time the community has stepped up and family readiness group has always been helpful. Thanksgiving. I'm John Lee Merkel. Stephanie and Eric are off tonight. A Merrill soldier is catching up with his family after serving his country for the last year in Afghanistan. But his family didn't know he would be celebrating with them today. Julia Fellow was there as the soldier and his brother surprised their parents. Actually, about this time last year, I left first Mississippi, then Afghanistan, and uh, I just came back. National Guard Staff Sergeant Daniel Berger couldn't be more excited to be back home from serving his country. We were route clearance. Uh, my unit, the 951st Sapper Company, came home on Saturday. I uh, was trailing behind them a little bit. I stayed in Afghanistan to do some other things before I came home. Uh, my commander called one morning uh, two days ago and said, you're coming back. Staff Sergeant Berger quickly made his next mission, surprising his parents for Thanksgiving. We are going to pretend that I'm a dead deer, and uh, I have my rack here. It's not much of a rack, but it's just going to be peeking out of the blanket. You see your hand, space them out. One, just one. We already called our parents, told them that Mark shot a buck this morning. That was really good. And when he pulls in, there's going to be the buck, that's me, underneath the tarp in the back, and uh, they'll come out to see the deer, and there I'll be. All right, button cam's rocking. The hard part was getting his parents to fall for the trick. It's a nice deer. What was it's a little smaller. Can we look at it or what? Right. Yeah, it go ahead. Open it up. <laughs> we never expected this. I, we went out to look at a deer in the back of a truck, and uh, all of a sudden there pops out Dan. Yeah, yeah, we were hoping that he would make it for Thanksgiving, and we are just so thrilled. Unbelievably special because we've got another son that is on leave from Iraq right now and he's home. So we've got everybody, our whole family together. So it's awesome.
Just couldn't ask for anything better. How could he possibly uh, find words to say that? It's just incredible. Especially this guy. I never thought I'd see him until next week. <laughs> we did a really important job there. I'm, I'm proud of what we've done, definitely. And uh, it's well worth it. I'd do it again in a heartbeat. And through the magic of the holidays, this wonderful family is able to be together again. In Merrill. Happy, Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving! Julia Fellow, News Channel. Well, it was a special day for one New Jersey family. It's been months since the Lee children have seen their father who's been stationed in Afghanistan. But as TV 1055's Hazel Sanchez tells us, today they got a soldier surprise. Staff Sergeant Devin Lee is used to wearing a uniform, but certainly not one that makes him a knight and brings him back to medieval times. I'm super anxious, a little bit nervous, um, but I'm, I'm pumped up about it. Lee, who has been serving in Afghanistan since November, had a very special mission involving two little knights in training, his 10-year-old son Troy and 7-year-old daughter Elena. They weren't expecting him home until Saturday, so when a knight in shining armor rode into the arena and chose them to join him? I thought it was just a night that we were going to have to, that someone was going to come out and we would have to fight him. Oh, but it was nothing like that. The knight raised his mask and revealed he was their father. Troy's jaw dropped and the children lunged into their father's arms. It made me really happy inside because... He was back. When you saw Daddy's face under that mask, how did that make you feel? Happy. Yeah. Why, is it, why does it make you so happy to see your Daddy? Because he's been gone for like 106 days. This is a pretty uh, unbelievable moment, like just seeing their face, like when they finally recognized me. It took, it took a couple seconds, but once it, once it hit them, like who was actually in front of them, it was, it was a pretty unbelievable moment. It's moments like this that help make up for the long time away. Nothing like having Daddy home. It was extremely emotional. I mean, I knew that they would be excited. I knew they'd be surprised. But to see it happening was awesome. Was this the best surprise ever? Yes. Staff Sergeant Lee says he will enjoy at least three months at home before he may be deployed again. But his daughter Elena says she's just happy. She doesn't have to wait two more sleeps to see Daddy. In Lyndhurst, New Jersey, Hazel Sanchez, TV 10, 55. That was story. Yeah, heartwarming story. Emily awaits a very special message from a soldier serving overseas. And you know what? We don't want to wait, keep them waiting any longer. Mm -hmm. Our Vicki Gonzalez standing by at the link. And Vicki, such a special moment tonight for the family of specialist Matthew Kelly. Absolutely. Specialist Matthew Kelly is currently in Kuwait serving our country and he actually reached out to us from Kuwait just for his family who loves him so much and compliments of Caesars Entertainment. This family is going to get an entire night on the town starting right here at the High Roller and that's exactly where we are and I'm joined with the family of Specialist Kelly. This is John, his stepfather, his mother, Paula. Brandy and Andrea, his two sisters. So, I mean, just initially, I know you guys have an outpouring of love, but being his mother, what does Matthew mean to you? Well, you know, you don't think about them being gone and being in danger until something like this comes along. Then you realize how much you miss them. Matt's been gone a long time this time. And I just can't wait for him to get home. And him being your brother, your two sisters what I mean do you guys get worried or are you proud I imagine you're pet proud oh yeah I mean you think of any soldier overseas you're so proud of them for fighting for your country but when it's your own brother I mean it just really pulls out your heartstrings he means the world to us we would be nothing without him well compliments of Caesars Entertainment you're gonna get a whole weekend on the town you're gonna get an entire cabin at the high roller dinner at off the strip here at the link as well as tickets for your entire family to go see Olivia Newton John summer night so it's gonna be a fantastic fun filled event now I promised you a video from Matthew we actually spoke in Kuwait um, but I'm getting some word from our producer that I'm so sorry we're having some technical difficulties we're trying to get that as soon as possible but I actually um I think I might have something a little bit better what if Matthew joined you for this weekend what if he actually joined you on the high roller and went to dinner with you and actually saw Olivia Newton-John with you because he's right there actually <laughs> 
On New Street Live at seven, a beautiful, we beautiful you. moment. We missed you. I told you I'd get you guys one day. Yeah, you did. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. Yeah. It did. <laughs> now welcome home. <laughs> you didn't tell me. <laughs> All right, Matthew. He actually reached out to us. This is a specific package just for your family, compliments of Caesars. So what made you reach out to our newsroom? Well, you know, a lot of us back in deployment talked about surprising their families, and very few of us went through with it. And I knew, I'm getting out of the Army in six weeks, I knew I had to do something big, and, you know, I knew they wouldn't expect this. So, uh, no, I didn't expect it for a couple of weeks at least. You know, there's, there's nothing more I love than my family, and I'll do anything for them. All right, well, let's bring everybody in here. It's not only the immediate family, it's the extended family. He has a huge family, a huge group of love and support. Doing, Looking forward okay. to spending 10 days with Specialist Kelly as he's here back home you, in Southern you, Nevada. Amen. Dry eye here. Not a dry eye here in our newsroom, and obviously you can see how much love he has with him. It's going to take him a while to get through all these hugs, but so well-deserved. Well, uh, magic. And <laughs> when News 3 can be a part of moments and bring them to you on air, I think we have lived the highest calling of what we do as television journalists, and that is a thrill. You think about all the moms and dads who don't get to have that moment and who have it for generations. <laughs> We're glad to show you that moment tonight, exclusive to News 3 Live at <laughs> Specialist Matthew Kelly, welcome home. <laughs> uh, my name is Christopher McGinnis, and I'm here to surprise my brother, Willie McGinnis, during the game today. Uh, the plan is to have the, uh, the rest of the team run out there, and then um, after they do the interviews, or introductions, excuse me, for the team, I'm going to run out afterwards and surprise them. Sure. Can't wait, can't wait. Start getting part of the jittery. <laughs> He actually told me he wasn't going to be there, so I was, I was kind of surprised. They pulled me over to the side, and I th put a camera in my face. I thought I was just talking to the camera, going like this, and they grabbed my arm, and my brother showed up, so it was a great thing to happen. That was great. He was a big supporter of me last year, my first year. He was out there almost at every game last year, and this is his first game this year, and hopefully he comes out the last two. So it means a lot being there. He's been there my whole career, high school, through college, everything, so it's really great. <laughs> 